Hey guys, wanted to spend a second today talking about the Virgin Mary and what do Mormons believe about the Virgin Mary and what does the Book of Mormon specifically teach us about the Virgin Mary. And in researching this, found some really fascinating things. The first thing is that three times there were prophecies of Mary's birth and two of them specifically mention her by name. Now if you look in the Old Testament, there aren't any prophecies that mention her by name, but in the Book of Mormon there are. Um, I'm going to read one of them in Mosiah 3 8. It says, He shall be called Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Father of heaven and earth, the Creator of all things from the beginning, and His mother shall be called Mary. And I just think it's really cool that King Benjamin, one of the ancient prophets, actually saw or was told by an angel what her name would be, that she would be called Mary. And this was approximately, um, let me give you a timeline, but 125 years before the birth of Christ. So maybe 80 years or 90 years or 100 years before Mary was born. Um, there's another awesome scripture in Alma where there's a similar prophecy. It says, And behold, he shall be born of Mary, at Jerusalem, which is the land of our forefathers, she being a virgin, a precious and chosen vessel, a precious and chosen vessel, who shall be overshadowed and conceived by the power of the Holy Ghost and bring forth a son, yea, even the Son of God. Now, I think that's really a cool verse because sometimes people think, I served my mission for two years in Panama where there's a great um, large Catholic population and they might have felt that Ca that Mormons didn't like the Virgin Mary or didn't appreciate her, but right here it says she was a precious and chosen vessel, which I think is just an awesome way to to explain it. The third prophecy was from Nephi. Nephi said that he saw a virgin most beautiful and fair above all other virgins, and that's again awesome. Like she was a, he saw her and she was a very beautiful woman, and it says. Behold, the virgin whom thou seest is the mother of the Son of God, after the manner of the flesh. And it came to pass that I beheld that she was carried away in the Spirit. And after she had been carried away in the Spirit for the space of a time, the angel spake unto me, saying, Look. Now this is a really awesome scripture. It says, And I looked and beheld the virgin again, bearing a child in her arms. It's just really cool that in the Book of Mormon, Nephi has a vision and he sees Mary holding the baby Jesus, which I think is really cool. So again, three prophecies in the Book of Mormon before she was born that mention her, two specifically by name. And again, in no other scripture that's recorded do we have a prophecy of her by name, which is really cool. And that's found in the Book of Mormon. Now, for those of you who maybe want to learn more about Mary and understand her, you really need to read Luke chapter 1, which is phenomenal. I read it this morning. The reason I like Luke chapter 1 is it has a lot of Mary's words. And she basically spells out how she was feeling after the angel Gabriel came and announced to her that she would carry the Son of God. And one of the things that she said is in Luke chapter 1 verse 48. This is awesome. It says, For he hath regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. For behold... From henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. I really wish we could hear this scripture in Mary's voice. Because these were her words. And she was kind of overcome with the fact that you know she was of humble birth and she was not in high society. And she was thinking, wow, like God has recognized me in my lowest state. And because, because of my willingness to bear the Son of God generations that come will call me blessed and that's a really cool thing anyway just wanted to share this little video to let you know that as members of the church of jesus christ of latter-day saints mormons we do admire and think very highly of, of mary um, we do believe that she was a virgin when she conceived jesus christ we do believe that she did go on to have other um, children and so did not remain a virgin her whole, whole life it actually speaks in the bible of Joseph, knowing she, he knew Mary, which is in the biblical, it's, he, we know what that biblical terminology means. 
Um, but another thing some people had problems with is the fact that Mormons don't pray to the Virgin Mary. But I love to think of this way. We pray to the same God that Mary prayed to. The same God that Mary admired and loved and had faith in. We have, we pray to that same God. And someone once said that the greatest form of flattery is imitation. And so we imitate Mary's example. And that shows that we really do respect her because we pray to that same God that Mary did. Anyway, thanks for the few minutes, guys. And we'll be back soon with another video.